How can you talk to a woman in a way that makes her want you in a sexual and romantic way? Pretty much every guy knows how to talk to a woman in a neutral way or in a nice way, but talking to a woman in a way that creates sexual feelings inside of her is a different thing altogether. Ask questions and occasionally make fun of her answers. Most guys don't have the balls to make fun of a woman because they are on their best behavior around her, hoping to get a chance with her by being nice. Alternatively, many guys are neutral around a woman. They just talk to her in a straightforward manner and not being a Mr. Nice Guy, but they're being Mr. Plain. They're just having a straightforward conversation with their logical, friendly and there's no spark between himself and a woman. What you need to understand is that when you're interacting with a woman, you can make her feel attracted to you. You can create a spark of attraction based on what you're saying and doing. You can display confidence and use humor and be charming, charismatic, be a bit of a challenge and a woman is going to feel a lot of attraction for you. Other guys looking on won't know what's going on between you and her because it's not obvious. Most guys don't understand how it works, so, they will look at you interacting with a woman and think, oh, well, they might just be perfect for each other. They might be a match. It might be natural chemistry. So, what you need to understand is that you can create that chemistry. You can make a woman feel a spark with you. One of the ways that you can do that is by asking her questions and occasionally making fun of her answers. For example, if you ask her the question, so, what have you been up to lately, and she says that she's been going to the gym and working. You can then playfully make fun of her answer by saying, going to the gym? How much can you lift? Show me your biceps. Then get her to show you her biceps slash get her to flex her biceps and have a bit of a squeeze. You can then playfully make fun of her again and say, oh, you don't even have any muscles. You're a little weakling, aren't you? Another example is where you ask a woman what she likes to do for fun or what she likes to do in her spare time. If you ask her, so, what do you like to do in your spare time? What sort of things do you do for fun? And she says, I'm a painter. I like painting, you can make fun of her answer. You don't have to be serious about everything you say to a woman. You can be a challenge, at times. You can be confident. You can make her laugh by putting some pressure on her in a playful way. So, she says that she paints and that she likes painting. You can then pause for a moment, look her up and down and playfully say, you don't look like a painter. You're not a painter. Come on, you don't paint. How is she going to respond to that? Many guys fear she will get angry that he is accusing her of lying, or that the conversation will become awkward and she won't want to talk to him anymore. Yet, what actually happens is that the woman laughs. She finds it funny and she feels like she is being put under pressure. She is being questioned. You don't actually believe her for some reason. In almost all cases, what a woman will do then is that she will laugh and tell you that she is a painter and loves painting. You can then say, just kidding. All right, show me some of your paintings. When she shows you her paintings, which are most likely going to be on her phone as photos or on a social media site or maybe she even has a website, you can then give her a compliment about that if you want to. Once again, guys looking on won't really understand what is happening between that man and woman. Many guys will look on and think, oh, well, they've just got a natural chemistry or that guy is lucky. She likes him for some reason or she must like him because he's good looking or something like that. Most guys don't know that they can actually create feelings of attraction inside of a woman and the secret to doing that is not about being nice or neutral when talking to a woman. There's nothing wrong with being a good guy and talking to a woman in a straightforward manner, but if you want to create a spark of attraction inside of her, you have to display personality traits and behaviors that are naturally attractive to women. In this case, the guy is being confident. He's using humor and he's being a bit of a challenge. What happens when you occasionally use that approach in a conversation with a woman, is that she feels as though she needs to impress you a bit. She also senses that you're not like other guys. You're not sucking up to her by being on your best behavior and trying to get a chance with her. You're not the sort of guy who is going to continue talking to her, trying to be friendly, trying to be neutral or trying to be nice and say all the right things in the hope of getting a chance with her. Now, that doesn't mean that you can't talk to a woman in a neutral way, a friendly way or even be nice to her during a conversation. You can. You can be a good guy. You can have a friendly, easygoing conversation with a woman. However, if you want her to feel a sexual spark with you, then you need to be willing to say and do things that create that spark. If you liked the video so far and want to know about the scientific content of relationship, don't forget to subscribe. Show some interest in her but also make her sense that you could lose interest. For example, you're talking to a woman, making her feel attracted to you by being confident, using some humor, being charismatic and being a bit of a challenge. 
Then, she starts telling you a story about something that you find boring. You're not interested in it. Don't be like other guys who are going to fake interest in whatever she is saying and doing. Don't be that guy who talks to a woman and it's just like, oh, yeah, really, okay, yeah. What else happened? Alright, well, that's interesting, when you don't actually find it interesting. What you need to understand is that women do like guys who are a bit of a challenge to acquire. Women do like to be in the position where they feel the need to impress a guy, they feel the need to be on their best behavior so they don't screw up their chances with him. So, when you're talking to a woman and she starts talking about something that you find boring, you should let her sense that via your body language. An interesting thing to point out is that if you have ever interacted with a really hot woman, a really attractive woman, then what you may remember is that when you were talking to her, if what you were saying wasn't that interesting, then she most likely did that to you. She most likely started to show you that she was losing interest in the conversation by changing her body language or losing interest in the conversation. Try to think back to how you responded to that. Most guys respond to that type of body language from a hot woman by trying harder to impress her, by putting in more effort to hopefully make her interested in the conversation. Then, when she notices that the guy is trying harder to impress her, she is in the power position. She becomes the selector. She becomes the one who is going to decide whether or not something happens. What a lot of guys don't realize is that they can make a woman feel like the guy is the selector. They can make a woman feel like she needs to impress him in order to get a chance with him. One thing I'll point out though is that this only works if you're making the woman feel attracted to you. If a guy is talking to a woman in a neutral way and isn't doing anything to create a spark with her and then he starts appearing uninterested in the conversation, then she is going to lose interest. She is going to want to get our conversation. So, what you need to understand is that this works when you're actively making a woman feel attracted to you by displaying personality traits and behaviors that are naturally attractive to women during a conversation, such as being confident, using humor, being charming, being charismatic, being a bit of a challenge and so on. Another example of showing her that you can lose interest in her is where she says that she doesn't like something that you like. For example, a guy is talking to a woman and she says, I don't like the UFC when he loves the UFC and watches it all the time. He can then shake his head in disappointment, smile and say, I thought you were cool up until that point, and then have a laugh with her about that. He can also then add in, so, what do you like to watch instead? Drama, TV shows, romantic movies? Boring and have a laugh with her about that. Now, he doesn't actually have to say that he thinks drama, TV shows and romantic movies are seriously boring. He doesn't have to seriously hate on her for that. He can playfully mess with her for being such a girl that she likes drama and romantic movies and so on. What a lot of guys don't understand is that it's good to be different than a woman. You don't have to have everything in common with her, especially when it comes to traditionally masculine and feminine things. So, if you like something that is traditionally seen as a masculine thing, such as MMA fighting and you like to watch that and she doesn't, make sure that you stick to what you like and allow her to like what she likes if it's a feminine thing. Where some guys go wrong is that they say that they like they like the UFC, for example, and a woman says that she doesn't like it, it's too violent and society is going the wrong way and then the guy starts to change his opinion on the fly to hopefully impress her. He starts to say, yeah, well, you know, I don't watch it that much. It's alright. I like football more. That's better. You know, it's the best sport in the world, sort of thing and he changes his opinion on the fly to hopefully impress her. The woman then sees that the guy doesn't have a strong sense of identity as a man. He thinks that being manly is a bad thing and he should listen to women and be nicer and sweeter and get into things that women are into because women are the smartest gender of the species. They are the better ones. We need to follow them. No, women are smart. Women are great, but they're not better than men. We men don't need to be like women. If you want to make a woman feel attracted to you in a sexual way, then be manly. Don't be afraid of manly things that you like and don't be afraid of behaving and talking in a manly way. Another example of this is where a guy is talking to a woman and she asks him what he does and he says that he works in IT. She then cheekily says to him, so you're an I.T nerd then, to see if he's going to lose confidence in himself, to see if he has a weak sense of identity about who he is as a man and to see if he is ashamed of what he does for a living. What a guy needs to do is stand his ground but be a good guy while doing it. So, if she says to him, ah, so you're an I.T nerd then, he can then smile and say, no, I'm a smart man who understands computer code. You're just jealous because it's too difficult for you. You're not smart enough and then have a laugh with her about that. She can then see that he has a strong sense of identity as a man. 
He doesn't feel embarrassed or ashamed of his profession. He embraces it and is proud of it and therefore she feels attracted to his confidence. She also sees that he's not the sort of guy that she can easily pick on. He's a confident man who believes in himself and therefore a woman will assume that he can have his choice of women. As a result, she will be nicer to him. She will show him more respect and she will more easily feel attracted to him and fall for him. What you'll notice when you use this approach to conversation with women is that you're putting way less effort and you get way better results. You're not trying hard to get to know a woman over time. You're not wasting time and energy sucking up to her and hoping that she likes you. Instead, you're shortcutting the process by making her feel sexually attracted to you. You're creating a spark and as a result, she wants something to happen between you and her. I am Majid2006, thank you for watching the video till the end. Now, if you want to be successful in romantic relationships and know more, subscribe to my channel I made many tutorials for you I will kiss you, my dear.